One of the hottest names in the investing world in 2020 was Kathy Wood, CEO of ARK Invest. The legendary fund manager had some of the best performing ETFs of the year and also saw strong inflows of money put into her actively managed funds. Kathy Wood, known for her innovation ETFs that garnered billions in inflows during the pandemic, recently shared the big plans she has for ARC funds for the next five years, featuring five topics of focus that the company believes will see high growth and disruptive innovation. The ideas presented in this video could explain why ARC funds hold certain stocks and also provide hints at stocks that could be included in the ARC ETFs in the future. Many asset managers build their funds around market cap metrics or sector allocations, but ARC Invest instead structures its funds around innovation. Their analysts specialize in technologies that often track across industries and sectors. By understanding the core technology, they are better able to recognize the disruption potential. Wood gives the example of autonomous vehicles. In their research to decide what goes into making them, analysts discovered that GPUs would play a critical part. This allowed ARC to recognize that NVIDIA, which they already held for gaming, would have a crucial role in autonomous technology and robotics. It was many multiples of the market we thought it was going after, which was the PC gaming chip space, Wood says. So, once we have the top down, how big is this autonomous mobility market going to be? And we now have seven years of modeling around this. As we bring a company into focus in this new world, we also do a bottom-up analysis. In the case of NVIDIA, ARC recognized that autonomous vehicles would be not only part of the market share for their technology, but also the artificial intelligence for which GPUs drive the core component of training exercises. Now that we understand how ARC operates, we can further evaluate the five topics of focus that the CEO, Kathy Wood, said they would focus on for the next five years. Speaking in an interview with CNBC, she said ARK Invest is internally testing a fund that takes the strategy a step further by simultaneously betting against major stocks and the benchmarks that are being disrupted. We're testing out a portfolio, but it's really ARK on steroids, Wood told CNBC's Squawk Box on Wednesday, November 24th. Wood said she wanted to test the strategy on ARK's employees and did not say when the fund would be made available to retail investors. We think the benchmarks are where the big risks are long term because they are filling up with value traps. Those companies that have done very well historically but are going to be disintermediated and disrupted by the massive amount of innovation that's taking place, Wood said. Wood has long waved the flag about the so-called value traps and the major averages. She categorizes these companies as those catered to short-term oriented shareholders by leveraging their balance sheets to pay dividends and buy back shares. As a result, these companies did not invest enough in innovation. What we would be doing is shorting stocks that are in the big benchmarks, and when we get into a risk-off situation, what happens is portfolio managers and analysts generally run back to those stocks, get closer to their benchmarks, and they dump our stocks, which are either small parts of benchmarks or not in benchmarks, she said. This is a great opportunity for us, as we have experienced these last few days, to pick up those stocks because it's simply a risk-off move to get closer to benchmarks. With Wood's flagship fund, ARK Innovation ETF down nearly 15% in 2021 and the S&P 500 up 25%, this new strategy could see some big losses. Wood acknowledged the new method could be quite volatile, but believes it will be a huge winner over the next five years as her innovation companies further emerge and the old bellwethers fade away. In five years, the world will look nothing like it does today, and we're invested in all the disruptors, the winners that are going to disrupt the traditional world order," Wood added. Tesla is ARK Innovation's top holding, with other names including Coinbase, Teladoc, Unity Software, Roku, and Zoom Video. Wood has consolidated into her highest conviction names in 2021 amid a rotation from growth into value. She continues to buy the dip in beaten down names. To put numbers to Wood's theory, she said that innovation is currently priced at roughly between 10 trillion and 15 trillion in the global public marketplace. 
In 10 years, disruptive innovation will be about 200 trillion of that market capitalization. It will go from a little bit more than 10% of global equity market caps to what we believe could be more than half, said Wood. That's how much disruption is evolving thanks to DNA sequencing, robotics, energy storage, artificial intelligence, and blockchain technology. In addition to Kathy's comments about a potential $200 trillion market capitalization in the innovation industry soon, Brett Winton, who serves as Director of Research at Kathy Wood's ARK Invest, predicted a $200 trillion innovation market by 2030 as artificial intelligence, robotics, energy storage, gene sequencing, and blockchain technology create a unique moment in technological economic history. Speaking last month at a Forbes Shook Regional Conference in Boston, Winton spoke bullishly about the transformative innovations that are set for a decade of exponential growth, highlighting that this trend is already underway. The innovation market held $7 trillion in market capitalization at the end of 2019. Spurred on by the upheaval of COVID-19, that number doubled to $14 trillion by the end of 2020, according to analysts' calculations at ARK Invest. ARK is looking to align its investments with its expected innovation growth and feels many investors aren't well positioned on that front. As a general principle, investors are unintentionally short of innovation to the degree that they probably don't appreciate, the ARC's director of research said. Acknowledging that this nine-figure forecast is larger than the global equity market capitalization, he attributed the outsized expansion to productivity advances. Winton cited robo-taxis, which he sees as the largest productivity advancement in history, even more than the steam engine. Historians will look back on this decade and be amazed that all of these things were happening at the same time, Winton says. What's especially interesting about these innovations to us is that they compound and amplify each other. To substantiate these bullish views, Winton cited the last seven years of work done at ARC and how many of their prognostications that were seen as aggressive ended up being conservative in retrospect. ARC and Wood were famously bullish on Tesla and Bitcoin and have thus far seemed prescient with those bets. Winton first met Wood 15 years ago when the pair worked at Alliance Bernstein and joined her in 2014 when she set up her own shop. On stage in Boston, Winton shared similarly lofty expectations for cryptocurrency, predicting that Bitcoin will have a total value of $20 trillion within the next decade. It currently has a combined market value of just over $1 billion. Adding that most other tokens are less predictable, he thinks there is reason to believe that Bitcoin will be 50% of the crypto market, meaning all other coins will have a combined $20 trillion in value. He expects cryptocurrencies to supplant a reasonable portion of the gold market capitalization as an inflation hedge, pointing to increased market entry by allocators and corporates beginning to add digital assets to their balance sheets. Winton sees blockchain miners as a poor investment. That function is set to be commoditized, but extolled the value of digital wallets such as Coinbase and Square, which will be integral not only for buying and selling, but also for the use of digital assets. In addition to Kathy and her colleague Brett Winton anticipating a potential $200 trillion market cap for the innovation industry in the next few years, Kathy also shared her thoughts on Elon Musk selling his Tesla stocks. The star stock picker remained a proponent of Tesla stock in the face of the EV maker's recent rout. Tesla stock price dropped 20% through Wednesday's November 10th session. The day before, CEO Elon Musk ran a Twitter poll asking his followers whether he should sell 10% of his shares in the electric automaker. Most poll voters favored a sale. The sell-off erased more than $200 billion from the company's market value, though Tesla stock has since rebounded somewhat. Shares were up 0.6% at $1,073 on Thursday, November 11th. Of course, the momentum players turned tail as soon as the stock reacted to that news and followed it down, Wood told Bloomberg on Wednesday at the Dynasty Financial Partners 2021 Investment Forum that was held in Nashville, Tennessee. For us, we have been taking profits on the way up and receiving a lot of criticism for it. And for us, this is nothing but a blip. In March, Woods ARK Invest set a 2025 price target of $3,000 for Tesla stock, foreseeing sales of 5 to 10 million vehicles in 2025 and by a launch of a fully autonomous robo-taxi fleet.
Tesla is the largest holding in Wood's flagship ARK Innovation ETF, or ARKK, with a 10.5% weighting as of November 10th. The fund did sell shares of Tesla for three straight sessions through November 4th, ahead of Musk posting his Twitter poll. But despite those sales, it's evident that Kathy Wood is still bullish on the stock.